What is up guys, Andy Forrest, the Dean Runner here. Welcome back to another video and this is the finale, week number 10 of my Sub 75 half marathon training series. So welcome back to another week and this is the finale. 10 weeks have come to a head. Here we go, it's Saturday today on my shakeout, but of course, as always, we'll roll back, play from Monday, and then I'll give you my pre-race thoughts at the end. All right, good morning and welcome to Monday. Here we go, six days until the race, taper week absolutely buzzing um so what's the plan for today 60 minutes steady um before i get run over 60 minutes steady nice and relaxed i'm gonna be honest with you i'm at the end of my run because i got out at 6 20 and it was very dark um, but i've done 50 up to 54 minutes um so six minutes to go i'm running 6.38 per mile pace and I feel amazing so I'm just flowing it's going with it a bit cooler this morning so that's probably helping and yeah just going to embrace this week and uh, get through it as best as possible I'll see you tomorrow for the next run all right good evening here we go it's Tuesday 30 minutes easy nice and simple out here um, in Lydney Tuesday evening getting this one done so no double today like normal taper week so just the one run today got a session tomorrow so yeah keeping this one 30 minutes according to coach will so a nice little relaxing easy run i'm already starting to feel like i feel quite good tonight i feel like i want to open up the legs um so yeah really hoping that this this week is going to let me freshen up a bit and uh See how we go but we've got a session tomorrow first so i'll see you in the morning for that all right and good morning welcome to wednesday the one and only session of the week feeling a little bit mm, this morning not sure how i feel um a little bit sweaty body temperature feels a little bit up my lad's been battling a cold all week my mission this week is to just stay ill free aerobically i feel really good but i can tell like i'm sweating buckets um and i just feel oh, i've just got to i've just got to avoid the lurgy all week so uh, it's probably all up here but um I am feeling a little bit on the warmer side today uh, than normal. But in terms of today's workout, I'll let Will explain what we have. Right then, Mr. Rayner, I'm going to keep this one nice and short and sweet, uh, mainly because I'm in Gatwick Airport on my way to Amsterdam. I've uh, got some athletes running the uh, marathon and half marathon this weekend, and I'm going to be going out to support them. It's not just you doing a half this week, it's not all about you, mate. So this week, as I've already mentioned, the half marathon. But obviously there's gonna be a session. So on the Wednesday, we've got five minutes at 5K pace. So nice and hard going off, but not for too long. So don't absolutely blast it. Uh, don't absolutely blast your legs and kill yourself in that first rep. 90 seconds rest. Three by a minute of 75 seconds. Three by two minutes of 90, and then three by a minute of 75. Not masses of volume, basically because we've got that half coming up just something just enough to get some speed in the legs so you're not feeling groggy on the big race day and again that's the main reason why i've moved it to the wednesday instead of the tuesday where we normally have it just so when we get to the weekend you've had enough time to recover so i haven't put it thursday but also it's close enough that it hasn't been too long you're going to start to feel a little bit stale and then at the weekend what we've been building for one nice big session on the Sunday. It's going to be 74 minutes at half marathon pace. Um, don't try and go any quicker, because I think if you try and go a little bit quicker than a half marathon pace and a half marathon, you might blow up a little bit. Do what you normally do. Start off conservative. It will feel easy. You're under that. Yeah, going to be slower than your tempo pace. So it's going to feel nice and breezy. You should feel good. You should feel good for that first 10 miles. And then once you hit, the last 5k make it bloody happen make it happen you be it be be prepared to suffer and i just can't wait to see what you're gonna do 
let's go get it. Let's go pick it up. So there we go, not a monstrous workout, but a good amount of work to be done there. I think 17 minutes in total, like five minutes. And then uh, after that, we've got the 12 minutes worth of work broken into the ones and twos and one minute reps. So yeah, going to give it a good go today. A little bit windy here out on the estate. So I'm going to run into the wind, uh, sort of down round and into the wind for the first five minute rep and then just go back and forth uh, on the ones and twos. So we'll see how we get on today. Just want to kind of get this one done, banked and uh, get all the speed work done for this block so that I can relax for the rest of the week. And just before we do roll in, I want to say a massive thank you to Say Sky once again for sponsoring this week's video, for supporting the training series uh, right from the start all the way through to Oxford and a little bit uh, beyond. I'm here promoting their autumn and winter kit for them, which they're uh, launching some incredible stuff at the moment. And for the second week running, I'm not wearing their autumn winter kit. This is a summer vest. I just want this for the visibility this morning. Um, but you've seen a lot of the autumn and winter kit in uh, the training video so far, and it is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to gently position myself here and point here you'll see a discount code appear at fod15 which will get you 15 percent off full price say sky items now as you've seen on loads of occasions i've been running a say sky kit for years now and i absolutely love it i've raced in it at the albury 10 mile i raced it in the newport marathon earlier this year and i'll be racing in it in the oxford half marathon wearing one of their race singlets and some of their combat shorts so if you're enjoying what you're seeing with their kit and there's something particular you really like do head onto the website check it out and use the fod 15 discount code christmas is coming up as well so it might be a good christmas present uh, to stash away for someone ready for that special day so there we go just want to say a massive thanks to say sky once again for sponsoring this uh, this week's video and yep let's crack on with the workout for one last time in this training block let's get this one done all right five minute rep done i think that was the slowest of the block of any first five six or ten minute rep 5.42, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens from here. Okay, we've warmed up into it, all is good. Uh, slight headwind this way, bit of a tailwind that way, and we clocked some low fives and five teens. So that's the first three by a minute done. Let's uh, lock into a bit more of a cruise control and get these two minutes done. There we go, there are the three twos done. Clicked into cruise control, that felt good. So I think the first rep, first five minute, was a bit of a rust buster. I didn't feel great then, but yeah, we're opening up now nicely. Finish it off with three by one. Ha, huh, there we go, done. Three by a minute, finished. Finished strong, finished faster than the first set. So yeah, that was a really good workout. Very happy with that. Slow start, got a bit despondent, but as soon as those shorter, sharper reps kicked in, um, my body sort of came to life. It's like, ah, I know what we're meant to do here. So uh, yeah, that is, that is all the speed work for this block done. And we've made it through. I am so, so grateful. Gonna get a cool down done. I'll see you for the next run, which should be a steady. All right, good morning, here we go. The penultimate run of this training block. 50 minutes steady on Thursday. So usually I rest Thursday and uh, run Friday, but this week rest Friday. So we're gonna shake out on Saturday. Um, so this is the last meaningful run and uh, I put a jacket on and I'm overheating. It is raining, but it's still very warm. So I've just done two and a bit laps of the industrial estate. Legs are feeling quite dead today but I had a really busy day yesterday. Didn't eat the best. And uh, my mission now, as of as soon as I finish this run, is to start eating a little bit extra than normal and start to get those energy levels up. So, nothing more to say today. Pace is standard. Uh, nothing new to report there. 
Yeah, I'll see you to no, no, I won't see you tomorrow. I'll see you Saturday for the final run. And now you join me back here on Saturday for a 30 minute shakeout run and some strides at the end and some deer running across the path in front of me. Um, <clears throat> it's been a really good week. My legs feel much better today. It felt quite rubbish on Thursday, but uh, I feel good today after yesterday's rest day. Just one snag, one problem, one thing that's frustrated me. Friday afternoon, I basically eased off the strength training this week and um, yeah, my back kind of, it didn't lock up, but it had a bit of a spasm on Friday afternoon, right in the middle in the thoracic area, um, which is why I do my strength training because basically Friday reminded me why I rely on it so much. I haven't done any this week because I never usually do on race day. I sometimes do on a Tuesday, like five days before a race. And I just did core instead, no weights or anything for my back. And uh, yeah, it locked up and it's really sore today, really sore. And I can feel it's inhibiting my movement. Um, I get this all the time and I, you know, I know what the drill is with it. Thankfully, and I'm so grateful that these spasms I get in my back are not what they ever used to be thanks to doing strength training, but there's still a weakness there. So all I can do is just keep working on it. Um, so I'm going into Oxford with not negativity in the back of my head, but an understanding that, that what happens with me, for those of you that are relatively new, if you haven't followed the channel, I'm very tall. I have a bit of kyphosis in the top of my back, so my shoulders curl over. I can hold posture well, but when my breathing sort of tips over, threshold and I really start pushing hard I kind of lurch a little bit forward I can feel it right there as I do that the, the thoracic area in my back the middle bit really tightens up I get stitches my diaphragm kind of compresses because I'm curled over and yeah it's it's then just damage limitation until the finish line so all that's going through my mind now is you just have to stay as relaxed as possible you cannot push the pace early in the race otherwise your race will be over before it starts so i really as will said be sensible um and then kick on in the last three i mean yeah i'm just gonna have to be really sensible at the start and uh see what i can do but what was that who knows otherwise i'm feeling so fit so fresh so ready to go so i really hope that the back stays calm tomorrow and I can execute the race that I want to. Um, yeah, anything sub 75 I'll be buzzing with. I know I know that I should be shooting for a 73 and I'm gonna save that for spring next year in the next marathon build. Um, but right now, if I can just tick off and get a 74 something, I'll be so, so happy. So as you can see at the top there, 725 per mile pace, heart rate's 130. So I know, like I can feel I'm in shape. It's nice that, that the stats back it up. I'm trying not to look at it, but I am having a bit of a, a smile to myself, knowing, knowing that I feel good and I should go out there tomorrow with confidence. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna finish this 30 minutes up, four strides at the end, spin the legs out and uh, yeah, wrap this week up. So we'll wrap it there. Just wanna say a massive thank you to all of your support throughout this training series. Um, it's been incredible and I really appreciate all the comments, views, likes, everything. And thank you just for supporting me in the build up to this half marathon. Excited for what's after. Um, heading off to Battersea Park, three weeks after Oxford. No, four, for, uh, for a 10K, the Sri Chimnoy. I don't know, whatever it is, 10K. So I'm excited to go and give another 10K a bash and um, yeah, build into hopefully London, submitting my good for age time. So I think I'll find out end of November uh, if I got a place or not. So there we go. If you enjoyed this week's video, guys, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'll see you at the Oxford Hearth.